it's a job. And you set out to do a job and you do the job. Live free or die. Or die trying. Are you running for president? Uh, yes, I am. I will file the papers today uh, to become an official candidate. If he can get in the debates, and if he can make a statement, I think it's a story that deserves to be told. And I was the one the most hesitant to get involved. We're going to have to engage in the Middle East. We have a new strategy, very confrontational and very aggressive. There will be chaos that will spread to the region and to the rest of the world. They ultimately want to bring down the United States of America. Just come home. We just marched in. We just got home. And I said to myself, what is he doing up on stage with all these other, all these other Republican candidates? I would ask the congressman to withdraw that comment and tell us that he didn't really mean that. This is just going to shake the establishment. They do not want this guy running for president. The media are almost incapable of reporting and even understanding the Constitution. We had to become our own media. The new free press was utilized, the internet. The community of websites that was created is really quite phenomenal. It's like its own world. We're not going to do things the normal way. I think the blimp has got to stand out in everybody's mind. I mean, that was just such an outrageous thing to do. <laughs> we were very impressed at how quickly a seemingly random group of people could pull together this rather unusual, unique project. I would like to tell the grassroots that whether your ideas were very logical or very insane. You've heard of highway blogging? This is ski blogging. They were always inspiring and sometimes amusing. One small step for man, one giant leap for Ron Paul. There were more Ron Paul signs than anything else everywhere. It's not just what kind of places, it's like, can you attach it? You got a permit to put that sign up? Never even crossed their mind. They didn't even blaze over their cortex, brush it at all, that they were gonna seek some kind of permission from the man to challenge the man. They were so passionate that they just gave everything. He was raising about $200,000 every half hour or so. And then we held a consecutive money bomb uh, December 16th, which was the anniversary of the Boston Tea Party. At the height, of the march, there had to be 15,000 people there. It certainly was an act of defiance to choose an arena just on the opposite side of town. The, the National Convention is going on. The difference between free thinkers and ditto heads. And that's the difference between the rally for the Republic and the RNC. It was the culmination of everything that his whole campaign stood for. Let it not be said that we did nothing. <laughs>